Kira! Yay! The texture. It's like, I love this mask so much. This is all the skincare things that I want to take. 10, 9, 8. Ah! Where are my soul, sisters? Let me hear y'all flow, sister. Hey guys, it's me, your sister Yunyun in the house today, and I'm calling out from Jakarta, Indonesia! Yay! You guys, I'm so happy to be here, and I'm so thankful to Claire's for inviting me to this amazing event. And um, my family and I actually lived in Jakarta for about five years when I was a really small baby, so I don't have much memories, but I still have so many furnitures from Indonesia. I have patiks that I wear every single day during the summertime. And it's just, it, it feels very, very special in my heart, um, Jakarta or Indonesia. So I just want to say thank you guys so much again, because you guys are the reason why I was invited to this amazing event. Thank you for being my lovely subscribers and because of your support, I'm here for an amazing event. And the thing is, I only got to invite five to six um, unicorns for this very event with Claire's. So I also wanted to have an offline fan meetup with um, any unicorns that wants to come and just say hi to me. So I'm gonna have a super casual fan meetup and all the information is linked below. So please check it out in the description and you will have to RSVP um, at a format it's very simple but everything I'll leave it in the description so please check it out and for this very Jakarta trip I've been preparing for a while now for about two weeks or three weeks so I just wanted to share some of the clips of me getting ready for this very special trip to Jakarta so the very first thing that I did was of course pack Okay guys, so this is the real situation right now. So, giving you a little bit hint of where I'm packing for. Do you see my patik right here? This is from Indonesia. And yes, I'm going to Jakarta. And the thing about packing is I love it because it gets me so excited for the trip and it just gets more realistic. But I always have such a hard time fit fitting everything in my tiny little bag. I need to buy a bigger bag and I think it will lessen the stress away. But ah, until then, yes, Uni Ani is under stress at the moment. I usually just randomly throw in the things that I need to pack um, and then I see if I really need them or not and I start taking things out, okay? So let's go from this area. Now, this time I'm trying to do an offline fan meetup. Ooh, 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 I'm so excited. I'm actually um, uh, trying to take shopping bags, 10 each, and 10 of... Uh, sunscreen, the UV Essence from Claire's. I'm trying to take 10 of these. Clear Soft Airy UV Essence. I hope that this can fit or I will have to maybe carry on, but this is over 100 milliliters. Oh no, no, it's not. It's 80 milliliters. Okay, so I might have to take this with me, like on the flight. I have 10 of the Rich Moist Soothing Tensile Sheet Mask and I also have 10 of the Midnight Blue Calming Sheet Mask for my unicorns. I'm just trying to take as much as I can for them, but um, yes. And here I have shoes in my plastic bag and this is gonna be important because I'm gonna be wearing these actually on the day of, on the day of the event. So I just wanted to wear something comfy because I know I'm gonna be saying hi to everyone uh, for a long time. And um, I have some bras or like, yeah, kind of top that I don't need to um, have a bra on. It's just like a little strapless bra with a cap. So this will be very useful. Ooh, that's a very sexy picture. I, okay, that's nudity. Okay, sorry guys. But it's like a nipple silicone pad. So you stick it on your there. So it covers your nipples and stuff like that. And coming here, it's, it's really <laughs> crazy right now. But I'm gonna take uh, my sunglasses, my Ray-Bans. And I still have to figure out my clothes 
but one thing that I always carry or that I throw in is my passport because I never want to forget my passport, right? And um, I always take something to wear because I want to be comfortable when I'm traveling. I don't like wearing the robes like to sleep uh, in the hotels. So I always carry around my patik or something really comfy. And I have my swimming suit ready. This is actually um, Stella McCartney with um, Adidas. I bought this in Japan like years ago, but I just really love it. It's comfortable, especially when, when I have gained a little bit of weight and uh, when I don't want to wear a bikini, I just really like wearing this. And this is where all the magic happens. So this is all the skincare things that I want to take. This is not everything yet, but uh, because I'm actually using some of the products like right now that I want to take too. So it's not everything, but I am gonna take this. This is the Shingmul Nara Oxygen Water Waterproof Sun Spray that I tried um, in the Olive Young. I actually bought this before I tried it. I ordered two from Olive Young One Plus One and I absolutely love it. It's very powdery but it's gonna be perfect for retouches because I'm gonna be so busy throughout. I don't think I'm gonna have the time to run in the bathroom and you know like wash my hands and then put it on. Um, it's gonna be a really busy trip so yeah I just wanted something uh, with me to carry on to retouch every two hours or so. And this is really important. These things are um, sheet masks is a must for me when I'm traveling because my skin gets so sensitive. Because when you're traveling, the environment changes and the water changes, like the way you eat, the hours you sleep, everything just changes. So I always never bet on a new product. I always go take something that I know is going to be a safe bet for me. So I'm taking Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Tencel Sheet Mask. And I'm also taking this one, the Glowsome one that I've been trying. Um, actually, my friend uh, made this brand and um, I tried it and it was really, really good. I personally um, thought it was very gentle and very hydrating. And so I, I always reach for this when I want to bet on something safe and mild too. So this one. And of course, Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Sheet Mask. I love this so much, especially for the summertime. I know I'm going to have a little bit of breakouts. So this is going to help to calm uh, the acne or inflammation down. So this is an amazing sheet mask for the summertime. And I'm also taking the Goodbye Redness and Tele Mask from Benton. I also love this too. This is like a safe bet. Every time my skin is very sensitive, I always reach out for this. And I got to know about this about like four months ago or so, but I really love it. I want to repurchase it. I think I got it at um, Style Korean. Uh, and this one is something that I don't think I've ever shown you guys on my channel, but this is um, Triotic GPS Mask Home Spa Kit three step. So I think this will be so easy for me, especially when I'm traveling because it has number one, the cleanser, and then it has the sheet mask. And this is uh, also um, the hydro gel, hydro gel one. And it's so, how should I say? It's very, very nice on the skin. Um, it's very gentle. So if I compare it with the cotton ones, the thing is when your skin is sensitive, like even the material really matters. So when my skin is really extremely sensitive, I really like using the hydrogel ones. So this is going to be a, a good, 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 safe choice for me to take. It also has a cream, which makes just my life easier. But I am going to take creams and I'm going to take two of these. And here is the little skincare pocket that I have. And oh my gosh, maybe I should take a new one because there's only a little bit of it. But you guys know that I can't not live without this cream. This is Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. And I love it, um, especially the ingredients Guadulines and Tela Asiatica. It's going to be helpful for me um, after a long day out in the sun because I know that Indonesia is very hot and humid. Um, it's very similar to Korea though, the weather right now. Because um, Korea is really hot too. But yeah, this is like a must for me and I'm also gonna take my Tekka 1% Barrier Cream. I always carry this when I'm traveling because I usually break out when I'm traveling and I need to put something on like right after I pop a pimple and usually the, it's patches or this but at nighttime I usually put this in the daytime I usually put the patches which reminds me that I need to take my patch. 
Hold on, where did I leave my patch? Let's take my patch before I forget. So this is like one of my stash with products that I absolutely love. And yes, so here's my patch. I'm gonna take my patch. I'm gonna take my patch. And um, from these babies, I have chapstick. Um, and I also have my deodorant from pharmacy. I love this. I'm not, I've never met a, not met. I always like say my skincare like it's a person, you know? I love it. But anyways, I've never mm, tried a deodorant that I absolutely liked. And I really like this, the pharmacy one. It glides on easily. It smells really good. The, friend, the finish itself is very powdery and it's very minty too. So perfect to use for the summertime. If you're looking for a really good deodorant, check this out. This is like highly recommended. And um, this is something that I feel kind of anxious because I'm running out of it. I literally feel anxious. I love Triodic Ace and Oil Cut Cleansing. I believe this has made my skin so much more stronger. Like it really doesn't damage the skin barrier when I'm cleansing. And this is a very first product that I put on um, when I'm doing my cleansing. So I absolutely love this more than any cleansing balms more than any cleansing water or oil. I, I just absolutely love this. I think in 2019, this was my favorite and I'm so glad I got to meet this product and I really want to get some more. I'm planning to actually um, visit the Myeongdong offline store of Chirata K, so I'm really excited. And always comment below of what offline store you want me to visit. If I can visit the store and if they do let me film, I'll for sure film, so let me know. I'm dead. Uh, I'm taking my water. Uh, what is it called? Eye drops. I was gonna say water drops, but yeah, eye drops. I need them because I wear contact lens when I'm traveling, and my eyes get so dry. So this is like really necessary. And um, I'm also taking the pharmacy cleansing balm. This is also a good balm too, but it's just like I'm running out of this, so I thought I might need a little bit more. So I'm taking one. I'm taking two and these are like samples so it's so easy for me. The packaging is a little bit extra but yeah, it's just perfect easy uh, one use um, type of sample that's good. And um, what else? Okay, I've been absolutely in love with this. This is something that I absolutely reach out for like I think these two now I get like really anxious if I don't have it. Oh, these, this two. I think these three, I get really anxious these days if I don't have it because this is such a great serum too. The Great Barrier Relief. I use it in the step of my cream or lotion sometimes too because it's very hydrating. The texture itself is like very lotion-like, you know, more than a serum. But I absolutely love this. It has um, tamanu oil, which I got to know about thanks to this product. And it fits my skin so well. It just, I don't know, I love it so much, especially when my skin's really sensitive. If you have sensitive skin or if your skin is irritated at the moment, try this serum out. It's just very gentle and it makes your skin really restored it regenerates it and it heals it really well so yes definitely highly recommend this too and going in um this i always carry this one when i'm traveling or just um, anti-aging also but it really helps with skin damage too because uh, thanks to the guajuline and i love that it has peptides um it has blueberries just it's a very watery what can you see it's really really watery but it's just a perfect anti-aging product thanks to all of these fabulous ingredients so if i don't want anything too heavy when i'm traveling i think i always put this in because it just works you know and it really never lets me down should i say so yeah so i really like this one and going to claire's fundamental watery oil drop i actually wanted to um i was like like torn between this or the Oorong Pink Everlasting Ample because I'm kind of running out of it. But um, I heard that the Oorong Everlasting Ample is right now out of stock, so I couldn't get it. So yeah, that these days I've been trying out this. The, the texture itself and the effects are very, very similar. It's a very, uh, let me show you the texture. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold you between my thighs. <laughs> I hope I don't drop you. 
No, what's up with my double chin? Okay. Focus. The texture, it's like, it's it's pretty watery, right? It's called, look, look, look. It's pretty watery. When you soak it in, it soaks in so well. And your skin feels really, really hydrated. So I've been really loving this one and the uh, Oorang one. But since I'm out of the Oorang one, I've been trying out this product. And I love how my skin feels afterwards. And this one also contains peptides. Um, it contains fermented ingredients. I think when I use this, my skin feels really hydrated. And overall, my skin just looks really glowy and healthy. So that's one thing. Um, the finish itself is not like the powdery perfect finish. It's actually more of a little glow. So just keep that in mind for those of you um, that wants to try it out. And lastly, this is the Skin and Lab um, Medicica Clear Spot Gel. Um, when we're traveling, we always get breakouts, right? And um, yeah, I always take a spot treatment or I take um, the BioWish Trend Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. I take something that helps to calm inflammation down. So yeah, this time I'm going to take this one. This was really effective and it was really fast acting uh, at calming the inflammation down. So yeah, these are the things that I'm going to take. Probably some of them are not yet here because i'm still using them yeah and one thing what did i forget sunscreen huh? okay it's okay it's right here and um i am actually testing this out still get okay, this is the centella green level safe sun spf 50 plus pa plus 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 by perito i've noticed that they have other sunscreens too that a lot of people really like i see it a lot in social media it, the texture itself is very, very similar to the, the clearest UV essence. And everything is very similar to the UV essence. It's very essence-like and um, it soaks into the skin well. It's not heavy. It's not, um, you know, greasy. And it doesn't have white cast, so it's great. I sometimes, if I put it on 10 times, like uh, every 10 times, once I did feel some type of tingling around my this area i felt some type of tingling around this area at times if i tried it like 10 times i would feel it like once you know once every 10 times but i did feel a little bit of tingling around this area so yeah with um oh my ears are about to pop it's gonna pop 10 9 8 boop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Uni Mouse is back with her cricket. Yeah. Anyways, what was I saying? I don't remember. But anyways, so I'm still kind of testing it out. Um, but the other nine times, it was perfectly fine. Gentle on my skin, and it was good. So, and I did not know, but I have a new best friend here. Well, hello there, Benjamin. I did not want to meet any new friends before my Jakarta trip because I was very busy and I didn't want to socialize, but there it is. Life is always like this. Ah, we still have other friends here too. Ah, I guess, you know. Mm -hmm. And also, I got my nails did and my toes did too. Ah! Hi guys, so now I am at the my nail and pedicure place. And Onni's here. Onni, do you want to say hi? Hi, Mane Hi. <laughs> so she's saying hi. She's shy. Camera shy. Um, I got my nails done. This was done actually yesterday. And it's really clean, right? 그리고 맨날 저 똑같은 거죠, 진짜. 
<laughs> every time I do red or black or pastel colors. So this is what I'm doing for my pedicure today. I'm doing candy-like colors for Jakarta because I'm going to be wearing a lot of open toes. Shoes. These are the colors. I like these pastel colors. Or I love just straight up red. Red is really pretty. This one's kind of like hot pinkish red too if you see it. It makes your hands look so much prettier. So yeah. And you guys, it's finished! Isn't it so cute? Very candy-like. Yay! Comment below if your second toe is the tallest. Toe, 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 toe. Yeah. Good. Comment down here. Yay! I hope that you guys like my toes. Can you guys see it in Jakarta? <laughs> and I also got a treatment called shrink and this is something that I got before so if you do want to see the video before to please check it out but I saw such a drastic result with especially the elasticity of my skin just overall it kind of gives me like a like a pushback and this tightness and type of plumpness for my skin so i thought that it would be a great idea for me to look at my best for my babies so i got this treatment shrink first was the consultation with the doctor <laughs> And Tony always um, helps me out and he always you know is with me every treatment to kind of explain what the procedures are and each step is so he explained in a very simple way what the treatment shrink is guess back. who's back back again Tony's back tell a friend Tony hi once again mm. exactly what am I going to done today Okay, so you're getting a version of high Fu, which is called shrink for your full face. Mm -hmm. This lifts and tightens your skin uh, and it helps your collagen to produce more. Right. Immediate results can be seen and you're going to have better results after about one month or so. So it continues to improve. It's non-surgical. It's not as good as string lifting or surgical lifting, right. but it's the best you can get uh, via kind of ultrasound. Right. We call it laser, but it's actually an ultrasound. Right. And it tends to hurt a little bit, so numbing cream, and in this mm -hmm. clinic, they have pain control injections, which you should definitely take. Do you think I need it? Last time I got it, I just got the numbing cream, right? To be honest, Eunice uh, is really, really pain tolerant. She doesn't really need it. Me, I'm a wimp. Uh, I yeah. definitely need the pain it, control. It, it was really painful last time, but I just took it. I'm like... She, she's good at it. Usually, yeah. to be honest, boys tend to be weaker than girls when One it comes pain. to this kind of... Yeah. yeah. So the first thing that we did was the numbing cream. Oh, 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 And then this time, it was really fun because we had um, Sarah, we also had Annie and we had Tony so we were like you know four girls just chilling and having so much fun and we were all getting different things done so it was really interesting for uh, us to see each other's treatment too. Has anybody Sarah. watch those like pimple popping videos and like extraction oh, videos? Oh I can't. It's my I hobby. Can't. I can't. Oh. I would pay somebody to let me do that to their face. Oh my gosh I can't. Yeah. I'm so sorry but can you repeat what, what Sarah's doing right now? Yes. <laughs> So this is part of the aqua peel package uh -huh. and you know the thing that makes this between a luxury one and a, a just very bad version of it uh -huh. is that you can literally buy this kind of machine uh -huh. which sucks out things from your skin uh -huh. but what the problem is is that there's nothing being infused mm. so you see that vial in there yeah and the fact that I'm yeah those serums thing. are real expensive uh. Uh, so she's having her 
her everything inside of her pores sucked out, all oh the grime, the dirt, the sebum. But she's also being infused at the same time. This is so important because this is the one I got last time. Ah, uh, yeah, you yeah, got huh? this. You got this last time. So yeah. There's and it's not just one serum. There's different types that we do right. at different stages. Right. This is so good, Sarah. After your pores, like of course you're gonna get blackheads again. Yeah. But it, it's just more clean. You can you can just definitely tell. So you can see right now that she's changing the tip here. Mm. So the machine goes off. She changes the tip. I can't wait to watch she gets this video the second later. Vial. I know. So there are different there are different kinds of serums for different stages. Oh wow. Mm. So you can kind of see the different boxes she has at the yeah. bottom. There's blue ones, pink ones, brown ones, and they all mean different things. Uh, right now she's pulling one out for oily skin. Mm. Oh, is my skin oily? A little bit. You sucked out a lot of oil into the machine. <gasps> can so I see it? Can I see it? Uh, I want to see it. It's... Ew. You see that thing there? Don't judge me. Oh my god. The light isn't very good, but it was clear and now it's murky. Ooh. <laughs> it's not that black though. It's not that bad. Everybody. Yeah, it, it just turns murky. Let's see. Okay, so this is the second one. Uh, specifically for oily skin. Ew, I could see the gunk dropping. Next step was super simple. After a certain period of time, you remove the numbing cream and then you go right into the treatment. This oh. is the conducive gel that's oh. being placed because you can't just have an ultrasound without a conducive gel because that'll cause a burn. There's different cartridges that are going to be used for different uh, depths of your skin. Here we go. Oh, I'm just gonna ask how you're doing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Does it hurt? Oh, uh, it's okay. It's doable. Right now, we're tightening up your jawline. Oh my god, yes. Get your jawline snatched. Mm. <laughs> That's so V-line. Whoa! Yes. Right off the bat? Yeah. yeah. You can tell while they're actually doing it. And after the treatment, it's really important that you give the aftercare to make sure that your skin is calmed and that it's soothed from this treatment that you did on your face. <laughs> Don't open your eyes. <laughs> you look so scary from this angle. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look like an alien. Oh it's gosh. actually really creeping me out. Mm. Okay guys, so this is literally right after and I can't really tell off right off the bat but my jaw lines, right? My jaw lines is visibly really tightened, I think I could tell. Overall my face is still numb and I could feel the tightness. But Tony, Sarah, Annie was saying how, I don't know, like how tight and elastic everything looks but for me I, I can't really tell right off the bat except for the jawline I could really tell there's a huge difference right off the bat because my double chin kind of bothered me too it wasn't that bad but in pictures it always bothered me so and as we told you guys before this is gonna get better and better you can see the results 
even right after, but even after four weeks, then you can see the maximum results. So I'm really excited. And I also filmed a little clip of the day right afterwards. Good morning, loves. So I just wanted to turn on the camera. Today is the very next day after my laser. And I honestly feel perfectly fine. There's no pain except for around my neck area since you know your neck area is more sensitive. So when I was getting the laser, it did hurt more. And especially because they didn't put the numbing cream on this area and then the doctor I think wanted to give me like an extra shot so he went like uh, beyond the numbing part so it did hurt a little bit. I was fine though because I was under the medication. But anyways, I just wanted to show you how my face is doing. Um, my skin is probably irritated without myself really knowing. Uh, it, it feels fine though. It almost feels quite a bit stronger or thicker if that makes sense uh, so it's surprisingly it doesn't feel really irritated my jaw lines like I personally can't really recall like a huge difference but everyone there oh ah, okay so I actually just opened up a new mask of the honey mask and since this does contain like 38.7 percent of real honey sometimes you have to give it like a stir like you have to Make sure you mix it well together. Anyway, speaking of, like I was saying, I love this mask so much. I used my, um, I used it up, so I'm just opening up a new one. And you can use this for a very long time. A little goes a long way. Look how I'm like almost covering half of my whole face with just that one little thing. But anyways, going back, I could definitely tell my jaw line is so visible. Like, I haven't seen that for a long time. And the side of my neck, I could tell that this part is so much tighter. So it's a very slim difference. So probably like my mom's not gonna really know or my dad, some people that see me every single day, they're not gonna really know a huge difference. And my boyfriend didn't know either. He was like, what? I don't get it. Well, what's different? But like as I told you guys yesterday, the results, you guys can see it maximum results after four weeks. So yes, I'm super excited. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys posted and I hope that I can look my best for my unicorns in Jakarta. Yeah. As I mentioned in the video before, this treatment, you can see the maximum results after four weeks. Now for me, it has been exactly two weeks, exactly two weeks and one day to be exact. And I feel like it is showing more, even more so than the very first day. I feel like the very first day was more of uh, Tony or Sarah or Annie or my other friends telling me that they see the difference. But me, to be honest, like I couldn't see it right off the bat. I only saw a little bit on the jawline. But definitely now that it has been two weeks, I can definitely see it more in pictures. When I see friends that I don't see every single day, they're like, did you lose weight? Your face looks much slimmer. Like, what did you do? Like, your skin looks more tighter. And I am kind of seeing the results now. And I feel like I will see the maximum results after another two weeks, which is four weeks after my treatment. So definitely for any of you thinking of getting this treatment shrink or any other treatments, um, number one thing that you need to do is make sure that you really want it and that you really do your research on it because uh, so many different hospitals tell you so many different things. There's so many different pricings. It's really different with every doctor's skills. So if you need a little bit of help or if you need advice, you can definitely contact Tony, my friend. I'll leave all the um, information in the description below. and, and his company soul guide medical will definitely help you guys out and also i did get another treatment and it was a treatment for my stomach and for my arms because i am gaining a little bit of weight and i just kind of wanted that extra push like i am eating healthier i'm trying to exercise but i wanted that extra push and um, i've heard about this treatment that tony did she gave him a little push to melt down the fat around his tummy area and his arm area and yeah i will have a video for that 
treatment also so if you're curious please comment below and i'll make it much more of the priority to edit it as fast as possible all right guys thank you so much for watching until the very end um, make sure if you're in located in jakarta and if you want to meet up with Oni and just you know have a coffee or have some drinks don't forget to check out the information in the description box below and there's also a deadline to register for this event because uh, we need to have an exact number of the people that are coming for us to be able to rent out the cafe and we need to let them know as soon as possible so please hope you can see this video as soon as possible and and check out all the information in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't believe that I'm in Jakarta to see my unicorns. And I can't wait until the next time. Until the next country that I go to to see you guys. So I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!